I'm here to let you in on a secret. Stock photos can make your life super easy by saving time and energy. I'm sure you already have heard about stock photos and how amazing they can be for a consistent brand. You may not have the resources to create eye-catching images or you may not have the time to create them. Having a blog or business can take up a lot of time. You may think everyone is using the same stock photo, and yeah, in a way they are. Free stock photos make it easy for people to use the same photos. One reason I created my stock photo membership was to eliminate that feeling. But that doesn't mean you need to throw away any ideas of getting stock photos free or paid. There are tons of ways to customize stock photos to make them unique to you. In this video, I'm going to be sharing how to use color overlays to get creative with your graphics. So, let's get into it. Here, I'm using one of our free stock photos. I'm going to go ahead and resize it by just dragging the image to all sides. Next, I'm going to go up to the elements section and I'm going to choose one of the shapes uh, this one for this one I'm going to be using the square shape and I'm just going to be dragging it down and dragging it across and then I'm going to take the transparency and I'm just going to drag it down just a tad bit I still want to show some of the stock photo inside of the graphic Next, I'm going to use my brand colors and I'm just going to choose which one fits best for the image. Adding in a color overlay is one of the easiest ways to switch up a regular stock photo and make it your own. Use the colors of your brand to stay consistent. When you add co color overlay, you lead the eye to what's important, your catchy title. Lower the opacity of the color overlay just a bit so that you can still see the stock photo, but it's not too distracting. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Elements and then I'm going to select a grid. Next, I'm going to head down to my folders where I have a lot of my collections saved into folders. And I like to have a name for each collection. Therefore, all I have to do is search in the search bar. From here, I'm going to select one of my free stock photos. Heading back up to elements, I'm going to choose a shape. And you can choose any shape that you want. I'm going to choose this shape and I'm just going to adjust it and resize it to make it fit the way that I want it to fit. You can size it down, you can size it up. There really isn't a rule to choosing uh, the type of shape that you want. And you can also change the transparency so you can see a little bit of the stock photo. You can change the color. I'm using my brand colors. I'm just checking to see which one would best fit the image. To change the stock photo up a little bit, I'm just going to size it up a little bit and I'm going to rearrange it so that it'll look a little bit different. And with the rotating tool on the shape, I'm just going to rotate it around and flip it to the other side. And now I'm going to quickly run through how I create a graphic using these two elements, the stock photo and the color overlay.
Now you can easily just leave it as this, but I like to show you all how to get more creative with your graphics and with your stock photos. Grab your audience's attention. It's great to add different elements over on to your graphic. So you're going to want to change it up a bit, change up a font, or add some more color overlays and shapes. You'll also want to add in some different elements such as your logo. And if I'm adding value to my audience, I, I want them to bookmark these types of posts. So I add a call to action within the graphic. And I tell them to bookmark this post. This not only helps with the algorithm and getting your post shared to more people, but it also gets people seeing how much credibility your business has. The more you give value, the more people are going to keep coming back. And here's the before and here's the after. It's amazing what you can do with just one stock photo and a little bit of color overlay. So I want to share with you just how the other members are using these two concepts to create branded graphics. If you want an easier way to create graphics using these color overlays, you can also check out the, the social media templates inside of the membership. And if you aren't already a member, go ahead and subscribe and become a member today. And if you would like to learn more Canva tips, head on over to the video linked to your right and learn some more Canva tips and tricks.